Hey, it's Mike here, and today, a yogurt showdown. I'm gonna show you how to do two recipes, two types of plant-based yogurt. It's gonna be cashew and almond, and then once they're done, we're gonna have a little taste test and see which one is the best. And we're gonna harness the power of probiotics, and if that is a little bit intimidating, it really is as simple as blending and waiting, so do not be afraid. Now, I could be really lazy and just use the yogurt setting on the Instant Pot that keeps it at the perfect temperature, but because most people don't have an Instant Pot, I'm gonna go ahead and do it with no yogurt maker or anything like that. Okay, for a quick rundown, we're gonna soak the nuts overnight for six to eight hours, add the probiotics, blend, and then let sit for 12 to 14 hours. And if you're pressed on time, you can actually simply boil the nuts until they're soft and then go from there. So we're gonna do a little hack to get the probiotics going and then that way it's super easy and lazy and relatively quick. And speaking of probiotics, the type of probiotics you want is something that has around 50 billion live cultures and you want these two strains, Lactobacillus bulgaricus and Streptococcus thermophilus, at least if you legally wanna sell it as yogurt in the US. But a lot of people have been successful using probiotic pills which don't have the Streptococcus in it. And so I was in a rush so I went and got those and it turned out fine. And Thrive Market, for those of you in the US, does have a super complete yogurt vegan starter with all of these strains and it's actually way cheaper. I will leave the link to that and the link to my massive savings in the description. All right, moving on. Let's soak some nuts. So I'm gonna do two cups of each, so I'm simply throwing two cups of nuts into enough water to submerge them, and then I'm gonna go ahead and cover it for six to eight hours or overnight. Okay, so I think it'd be really cool to make this yogurt happen overnight. So here I am at night about to get this whole thing started, and I've already soaked these guys. They took about you know six hours until the almonds at least were ready to just peel. You just squeeze them and the skin shoots off and the cashews cashews are ready too, and now they're almost getting like too mushy, so it's time to drain these guys. First I have to squeeze all the individual little peels off, so see you in an hour, and no, I'm joking, this doesn't take that long. All right, so I've pretty much done all of them, so I'm gonna go ahead and drain both of these bowls. Uh, here's a crazy idea. Uh, maybe just get blanched almonds next time. All right. All right, got all of these skins, and pro tip, these actually make a really good snack for your trash can. Okay, you can actually compost them, that'd be better, but you don't wanna eat these. Okay, so the next steps are super easy here. It's just a matter of mixing everything together and then blending it in a high-speed blender. Hopefully, since these are soaked, you won't need a super high-speed blender. Hopefully, just a normal blender would get you most of the way there. It might not be the creamiest in the world, but it could be good. So our next steps are to just take our probiotic pills, these two guys right here, we're gonna break them open and they have about 35 billion in them each, 35 billion active cultures. I've heard people say you need about 50 to make it really happen for a decent sized batch, so this'll do. I'm also gonna add the juice of one lemon just to be sort of fancy to each one. But the next step is to break these guys open. Feels like I'm, feels like I'm doing something drug related, but uh, yeah, I'm not. Uh, and these are just cellulose, they're not gelatin, by the way. Make sure you get it all out of there. So 70 billion active cultures. Wonder wonder how many languages they speak. Oh, zing, zingy, zing, zing. You can you can stop watching now. All right, there's the end result. Anybody uh, wanna buy some of this with some Bitcoin, dark web? Okay, so the series in which you add all these together is sort of up to you. You could probably just throw these in and then blend everything and throw it in as you blend. But I'm gonna mix it in these bowls first so it's more obvious for you guys. So first things first, I'm gonna do my 70 billion active cultures, and it looks like I need to scrape it out a little bit. It's like caking a little bit. I don't wanna lose like 30 billion of them. And then I'm doing the juice of one medium lemon in each, and I'm gonna go old school and just do it with a spoon. Hopefully not get too much in my eye. Oh my God, I think I got lemon in every orifice. And that's that's about it. And then I just gotta, I'm just gonna have to pick the lemon seeds off the top. Okay, so now I'm gonna add the water and I'm thinking it's gonna be about a four to one dry original nuts to water. So two cups of nuts in the beginning before they were soaked to half a cup of water. And we're gonna see how that works, but never in a recipe video have I actually used the amount of water that I thought I was gonna use. So we're gonna see if it works. And so I'm gonna start with half a cup. Okay, now I'm gonna blend the almond batch first.
and my life is over. Okay, so if you've ever used a Vitamix, you've been here before, you didn't put enough water in, and you probably know about this guy, the tamper, and you've probably had a lot of struggles with this guy. So I'm gonna see if I can make it happen or not, or if I need to just add more water. And I'm adding more water. And I'm blending. At a two to one ratio of dried almonds to water, we're, we're pushing cottage cheese. So I'm just gonna keep adding water and the final number will be in the description below. Okay, so you can't really tell that well, but at one and three quarters cup, we are super creamy on the, on the inside down, further down. You can't, it's not this, it's that. Yeah. All right, so now I'm gonna do the same thing with the cashews and I'll just come back when I'm done. You don't need to see all that again. Okay, so I really let this cashew one rip and it is super smooth and already somehow smells like yogurt. Is that even possible? Oh, and by the way, this only needed 0.75 cups of water and that needed 1.75 cups of water. So screw you almonds. Okay, so here are the two yogurts blended. This is accidentally turning into an ASMR video because this is getting really late. I would suggest not blending late at night for other people. So this one right here is the cashew. It is super duper creamy and is probably gonna be the winner. The almond, however, the almond looks whiter, but it has a little bit of a graininess. It has that almond flour sort of consistency. So we'll see. I'm gonna let this sit overnight and see what happens tomorrow in about you know, 12 or 14 hours. And these guys will turn into yogurt in about 12 or 14 hours at the current room temperature covered, as long as it's not too cold. But in order to get it jump started and to just make sure I'm gonna have yogurt tomorrow, I made a sort of sketchy bootleg version of keeping it warm. And that is taking some tap water that is warm, that is about, about 110 degrees because 110 degrees is perfect for it. And that way it'll keep it around 110 degrees, at least for an hour or so, and it'll get a good start. So I've got a little boat of yogurt floating around here. And we'll do that with this one too. Oh, this got a little bit of water in that one, but I think it's gonna be okay. Okay, then you just wanna cover it. This might be done in about eight hours because of the heat. It might take a little bit longer, but we're gonna give this a try. And I really wanna demonstrate this because if it's winter time, this is definitely the way to go. Okay, so it's been 13 hours since last night. So are you uh, you guys ready for a yogurt reveal? It's gonna be really exciting. Uh, really exciting. I mean, it should look mostly the same. Yep, pretty much looks the same right there. That's the yogurt. And then this is the almond. Looking pretty good. There's a little bit of like a slight discoloration on top. Hopefully that's normal. Quick consistency check. I mean, yeah. I mean, this one, despite being blended as much, definitely has that slightly mealier texture but I'm not gonna taste any of these until they are chilled and ready for the taste test. Quick, quick cashew textured. Now that is just super creamy. I mean, that is pretty amazing right there. So now it's time to put these both in the fridge and let them chill. All right, so now we're finally ready for the taste test. I've brought Lindy back here to do it. So it's become a bit of a tradition now. And so we're gonna go for it. This is totally plain. There's nothing else in it. I have not really tried these yet. I, I licked my fingers once, but I haven't officially tried it yet. So are you, you're not excited at all for this. I'm not, I'm really full from dinner. <laughs> we just ate a massive dinner. Before we do a taste test, any visual comments you have to make right now? Well, the cashew one looks really creamy and smooth. The almond one looks a little bit more textured uh, almost like a ricotta. <laughs> you just blew a bug in it. Oh, oh it's no longer vegan. Oh, Sorry, man. can't eat it. <laughs> I have to do an extra. I have to save your life. Oh my god. All right, it's time to officially taste it. I'm gonna taste the almond first, and she's gonna taste the cashew first. So I can hmm. barely eat anything. I'm so full. I will say, this is creamier than it looks. Mm. Like if you get a close up on this almond, it doesn't look super creamy. Michael's is about me. Okay. What do you think? <laughs> so what do you think about it? This has a tart taste. It just needs some more sweetness. <laughs> well, keep in mind, both of these are unsweetened, so they are a blank slate of flavor. You can make them into raita or sweeten them or anything. They're a blank slate other than the tart flavor. <laughs> <laughs> There's a little bit of lemon in there. So. I actually like that taste, yeah. yeah. Now we're trying the next one. Cashew, super creamy. I can't. This is almond oh, yeah. for me. Oh yeah, this one. <laughs> <laughs> it has a mealy texture. 
I don't know how it was made, so I'm assuming because I'm so lazy, I'm, I'm I don't work in any of the process. Somebody was commenting that that I just work really hard and make her food, and it's funny because she has a full time job. I actually have more than one job, so it's just <laughs> ironic, and a lot of times make us food, so it's fine. I'm not bitter. So really quickly, uh, the cashew I think is really good and really has that yogurty punch flavor to it. So what do you think? What do you think? Yeah, that? that one's really smooth. Has a very nice creamy. Um, homogenous texture. This one is still really good. The only thing is I would probably turn this into more of like a ricotta um, cheese and use this on like a pizza or something. Mikey's paying me to lie about how good this is. <laughs> <laughs> no, kidding. it actually, okay. This I think is on par with a forager yogurt. In fact, I like it because it's thicker. I guess you could put more water and make it less thick. And forager makes that plain cashew yogurt, which isn't available for everybody. So this is a great alternative. So we're realizing right now that we probably shouldn't do. Oh my god! It's a wasp. <laughs> it's gone. No, it's not. I can literally see it. It's not going to sting you. Yes, it will. Okay, so I'm realizing right now that we should probably not do taste test in the middle of a food coma. We just ate so much, and like I don't even have room for dessert. So you're. It's not that you don't like it. It's just that you can't even imagine eating something right now. But it's honestly, good. anything sounds disgusting to me because I'm so full. <laughs> Anyway, so I was gonna say that this would go perfect with our baked granola, our oil-free granola from our cookbook. Mm -hmm. And so it will be linked in the description below. So if you haven't picked that up virtually, because it's an ebook, then go ahead and pick that up. So that's it. Thank you so much for coming and letting me force feed you yogurt. Risking my life with wasps out here. But it does taste like real yogurt. And no, so- No, it does taste really legit. Yeah, mm -hmm. legit. It does taste legit. You got it on the record right there. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for watching. That's it for today. So feel free to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. And Mike the Beard shirt will be linked in the description as well. <laughs>